Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Bone Dynamics in Anime Studio Pro. Alright, so there is one tool that uh, can help you to make uh, your animations more smooth uh, and more a bit more realistic, so uh, for that um, we are going to make a bone layer and uh, now we just name it like this and we put this layer inside of it and then uh, now first of course I have to draw a object so I take the draw shape tool uh, just choose a color and let's draw a rectangle right here and add some points there we go and then we will draw two bones right here like this so then if we take the manipulate bones tool we have this effect of course so <clears throat> then we take the select bones tool um, uh, make sure you select the bone that you want to use uh, for this tool because we can, we're gonna uh, change something on the bone so you can do this but you can select them both uh, if you want but for now I just pick this one and we take the bone constraint uh, right here and we click on bone dynamics and we go close and um, let's put them right here and then I go to frame 24 and then we just move the object to the right and if I go back and if you play you see this happens so what happens is uh, when you move it the bone moves to the left and this is very very helpful because this makes it more realistic more smooth if you want to make a movement like this and you don't have to spend uh, so much time on timeline uh, putting it like this so it uh, the, the software will do it itself so so this is a very helpful method uh, for let's say if you want to uh, have a character or something uh, getting blown away by the wind like a leaf or something or you want to have uh, a character grabbing grabbing another character and then he moves like this so you can use it for many many things so finally uh, I would like to show you uh, how you can control the movement uh, just a little bit. Uh, we go to bone constraints again, make sure the bone is selected. And then under this right here, under bone dynamics you have torque force, the spring force and damping force. And if you would say change torque force to 5 um, or maybe 10 to see the difference better and you would play you can already see the difference it moves more to the left and this uh, if I change this one back uh, the spring force has a bit of the same effect actually or more of the opposite so put this one uh, normal and then the damping force uh, if we would change that what happens is um, if you've noticed uh, it stops further if you um, have a lower number it goes on for a little bit more longer and if it's higher it stops earlier on at the end so that way you can control it and so what you need to do is just play around with it and see what is uh, useful for you so um, yeah, uh, that's it. That's the tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys uh, found this helpful. Uh, if you have any more questions, leave comments. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you uh, with the next video. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.